When the weather turns chilly, these cold hardy ground cover plants will be the perfect accent for your garden. Even in zones with lower temperatures for hardiness, there is a wide variety of choices. Here we take a look at some of our favorite cold hardy ground cover plants, complete with images and names. Number one, Candy Tuft. Peking Evergreen Candy Tuft is a perennial plant. As soon as spring arrives, it bursts into a blanket of white, fall-shaped blossoms. Water is not its favorite environment, and it prefers a mix of sun and shade. Soil should be loose and well-drained as it is for planting. The low-growing perennial Iberus Semperverans, most often known as Candy Tuft, blooms from three to nine in the hardiness zone. Number two, Creeping Jenny. Despite its potentially aggressive nature, it is easy to pull out if it begins to consume other plants because of its moderate growth rate. This small plant is incredibly adaptable because it can thrive in a wide variety of soil types and light conditions. When it comes to container gardening, it is also one of my favorite trailing plants. A multitude of container combinations are enriched by its vibrant addition. In zones four to nine, it can remain alive all year. Number three, Cheddar Pinks. The perennial ground cover known as Cheddar Pinks is a beautiful evergreen. It bursts into a carpet of tiny pink star-shaped blossoms in the summer when it blooms. As a member of the Dianthus family, which includes both annual and perennial varieties, you may be familiar with these blossoms. They thrive in areas with ample sunshine and soil that drains properly. In rock gardens or along sidewalks and curves, this is my coat of plant. They do best in zones three to eight. Number four, creeping thyme. A creeping thyme lawn is something that many gardeners strive for. It is actually achievable in lower hardiness zone gardens. As a bonus, it smells great when you walk on it or brush it with your hands. It can replace grass or creep through pathways and rock gardens. I will say that if you are using it as a grass replacement, do not use it in high traffic areas. From zones three to eight, they can flourish. Number five, spotted dead nettle. If not contained, its aggressive nature could cause it to consume nearby plants. Checker spot dead nettle, on the other hand, has beautiful green and white leaves and purple blossoms. Dead nettle is an excellent choice if you need to cover a wide area quickly or if you live in a region where few plants will thrive. Dead nettle requires water to establish itself, and once established, it can grow and spread with minimal more water. From zones four through eight, it can flourish. Number six, lungwort. It likes dry, shady spots to flourish. Lungwort, a perennial that thrives in partial shadow, is a good option for those plants that aren't able to thrive beneath giant evergreens. In the early spring, it produces little bell-shaped flowers that are a mix of pink and purple. Lungwort emerges as a sign of spring when my garden is a brown muddled mess. Later on, it develops big pointy leaves that are spotted with irregular frost. Zones three to nine are ideal for its growth. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.